How's it going guys? Master Nick here. This is a series that I'm going to try starting and being pretty consistent with, uh, but I am going to need your help in giving me some ideas or just kind of encouraging me to do this because I'm always so bad at following through with these wonderful uh, series that we do. If anybody remembers the Master Uma videos that don't come out anymore, uh, I'll think about doing those again sometime soon too. But anyways, this is a series that I would like to call Master Nick's Whiteboard. I've had these thoughts for a long time. And the reason I like uh, this idea is because when I was going to school and when I was learning, I'm a very visual learner. I like to be able to see things. This is basically my version of learning and I'm gonna give it to you guys. And again, for the, for the help, leave things in the comments, things that you would like me to explain, things that you would like me to go over, uh, things that you would like me to research and explain for anybody. Uh, I'm open to all of the wonderful ideas that you might have. But I'm gonna go over this one with you guys today. This is my Venn diagram. I made this for our black belt. It's actually an official grading thing that we do at black belt testing. I'm gonna go over what all of these are and I'm gonna explain it. So over here is the word art, up there is the word combat, and over here is the word sport, all, like I said, in a Venn diagram. Uh, now I colored it in, in red and brown and green, and I'll explain all that in a minute. The way that I like to explain it, there is martial art, not arts, martial art, martial combat, and martial sport. Martial art is the artistic side of whatever you're doing. Most styles have two of these. Some have three, some have one, but most of them have two of these. Obviously, any style has all three. So art would be considered for us the forms. The forms are very artistic. They show your control, your balance, your grace, your flexibility. Those are all things that are very artistic. Then you come over here where it says sport. Sport is basically combat with rules, but for sport, we have our sparring. Any type of competition that we do, that is the sport aspect of it. And then up here is the combat side, which is our self-defense. Like I said, there are some styles that really only focus on one. True Krav Maga is combat and combat only. Let's explain why this Venn diagram is important for a well-rounded martial artist. A lot of the Oriental styles, Korea, Japan, China, most of the styles that come out of those areas have a fundamental core of pumse, patterns, forms, kata, whatever you would want to call it, basically a formulated pattern of techniques done in both a form of expression as well as training. Over here in sport, this is kind of like the safest way that you can get to combat without actually getting there. There's really no safe way to practice combat. The moment you have a rule, it becomes a sport. I understand you can argue, oh, there's rules of war. We're not talking about that. If there's rules, it's a sport. So over here, this is our forms. Over here, like I said, this is going to be our sparring. You need to be able to have good grace, good balance, good control, flexible technique, look good doing it. And then over here, you have to be able to utilize that control in an environment where there is going to be stress, but you have to be able to think quickly and formulate different plans on a dime and be able to change everything that you're doing follow the rules and try to best your opponent. Up here in combat, this is, can I take these two sections, the art and the sport, and can I flip a switch to where I'm no longer showing control and I'm no longer following rules and it is me or him type of thing or me or them, whatever it is. Combat is flipping the switch to I need to hurt you or you're gonna hurt me, but somebody will be walking away and the other will be falling away. That is combat. What I would like you guys to try to focus on is being in this circle right here. I'm able to do my forms with grace and control. I can practice with good control with my partners, have some fun, get a little competitive. Push came to shove. Whoever messes with me is going to be not happy afterwards, to say the least. You want to try to be in this middle section where you can bounce between all three and kind of flow them all together as a martial artist. This is the Venn diagram of the Tursacks, where all of our black belts, our goal for them is to get them to slowly work their way into the middle. Most people are kind of riding the line on the inside of one of these mixed ones. Some people who are, they love sparring and their self-defense is just insanely terrifying they don't really look that crisp in their forms. They wouldn't be in the middle, they would be over here. But if they're starting to work on it, I would move them closer into the middle. Let's say somebody just, they don't have that fight in them, you know, like they can spar, they're very methodical with their sparring and they can outthink somebody. 
and they look great with their forms, but if push came to shove, you don't think they could actually truly take it upon themselves to do harm to another in the benefit of their own well-being. They wouldn't be up here in the combat. They would kind of be down here, mixed with the sport and the art, and hopefully working their way towards the middle. This is the explanation of the Tursax Venn diagram of the ideal martial artist. Please leave in the comments below if you're interested in me explaining anything else. I can use this board to break down kicks, exercises, forms, you name it, I'll give it a shot. So anyways, y'all have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.